Hi guys, it's Colette, and today we're going to be working on this feather manicure. I think this would be fun any time of year, but of course in November it's really giving me Thanksgiving vibes. If you like nail art, be sure you subscribe to my channel, My Simple Little Pleasures, and if you'd like to see how I did this design, just stay tuned. Starting out with clean dry nails, we're going to begin with a base coat. Today I'm using Madame Glam's Peel Off Base Coat. And you can use whichever is your personal favorite. For my base color, I'm going to be using Madame Glam Perfect White. And I'll be carrying that after each coat under the LED lamp. Once the white is cured, we're going to take advantage of the tacky layer for placing the feathers. And the feathers I have, I just picked up from Michael. I kind of trimmed them down a little bit to get rid of the fluffy parts. And I'm just going to line them up on my nail. Make sure not to have too much overhanging. Set it down and then press it flat with my finger. Even though there's that tacky layer, the polish is cured, so you shouldn't get anything on your finger. And then carefully trim any overhang. Uh, I'm using a pair of cuticle nippers because I find that to be a little bit easier. Once you have the feathers applied, you're going to want to seal them in with top coat. I'm using the Madame Glam No Wipe Top Coat. And for each nail, I'm just going to make sure that it's pressed down as well as I can make it before applying the top coat and then curing. If you have any spots that are rough or sticking up, you can trim them or file them down. And then just to finish smoothing everything out, I'm going to finish with another layer of top coat and then of course another cure. So here's the finished manicure, and I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I've had these feathers for several years, and I'm so glad that I finally got a chance to use them. I do apologize for any weirdness with the tutorial. I'm still struggling a little bit with my camera, but if you want to see the extended tutorial and the couple issues that I did run into before I settled on this method, the live stream will be up here tomorrow. And, of course, it's available over on my Twitch channel right now. I'd love to hear what you guys think of this down in the comments. And, as always, thanks for watching.